welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I just got done working out doing all of my grocery shopping and it is massive stock up time. I shopped at both Target and Costco and I have a huge, and when I say huge, I mean huge grocery haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching I do offer personalized to you macros and calories highly highly recommend if you haven't had your macros done have me do those so you know exactly where you should fall every day to reach your goals and if you want to talk with me directly I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well links discounts to all my favorite things and of course my Facebook group are also down in the description box head on over and join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump in to this massive grocery haul. So here is this week's massive stock up haul. I went to Target. I haven't been there in a minute and I found some fun things. They had some really good deals going on. And then of course I did my monthly Costco stock up. Again, some excellent deals, some new food finds. So I'm really excited to share everything with you. So we have a massive haul, so let's jump into it. First at Costco, I grabbed the pack of the Clorox wipes. The last time I was at Costco, I guess it's been a couple months now, they didn't have the Clorox and I ended up buying the Lysol ones or the Arm & Hammer ones and I do not like those as much as the Clorox. So this time they have the Clorox, so I picked up the big pack. Paper towels, the Bounty was on sale. Normally I just buy the Costco brand, but it was actually less expensive than the Costco brand. We needed toilet paper, so I picked up the Kirkland brand. And then Troy also needed chips for his lunch and this is currently on sale for $11.99 for 54 bags of chips, which is a fantastic deal. I think it was four or five dollars off. I needed a graham cracker pie crust for a recipe, so I picked this one up at Target. Troy's having tacos for lunch or burritos, I should say, this next week. I'm gonna go ahead and make those for him this weekend, so I picked up some sour cream for those. One third less fat cream cheese for my meal prep dessert. Definitely stay tuned for the end of the video for what I'm doing in meal prep for this next week. I'm super excited. We've been on a huge huge bagel and cream cheese kick. So I picked up some of the plain whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. Two boxes of the Brew Dr. Kombucha. There are six bottles and it was on sale at Costco for $7.99. That's a little over a dollar a bottle, which is less than half off its normal price. So you can see here, I picked up two boxes because I love kombucha, I drink it pretty much every single day, so this will definitely last me a while. So excited to see Pumpkin Spice Coffee Creamer. International Delight isn't my favorite brand, I prefer the Coffee Mate, but they didn't have the Pumpkin Spice, and listen, I'm here for fall, I'm ready for fall, so I picked that up. One pack of Au Jus Gravy Mix, this is for a dinner recipe. Target currently has buy $20 worth of beauty and get $5 off, so I went ahead and picked up some beauty things or hygiene things that we needed. This is my very favorite toothpaste ever. I love the mint from Theory. Olives for Troy's tacos. This was a better deal to buy the three pack of the small cans rather than individual cans. I have to say that I'm sad that Costco no longer carries that big huge red pack of Lindsay sliced olives for $4.99 because I paid $4.99 for these three small cans. I love the Kristen S hair care line and this was part of that $20 in beauty. So this is the detangling tonic. As you guys know I have really thick dry hair. It gets tangled really easy and I thought this would be good to try when I get out of the shower before I actually brush through my tangled mess. My all-time favorite mayonnaise from Costco. You can't beat the price. $8.49 for the big container which is what you pay for a tiny little jar at the regular grocery store. Two kinds of mustard because we are completely out of all mustards which is very random and weird so I did pick up just the organic yellow mustard and the organic Dijon mustard. Some pesto sauce for a dinner recipe funny thing about this pesto, it's 190 calories for a quarter of a cup. All of the other brands at Target were over 300 calories for a quarter cup. So I don't know if there's more oil in there. I'm not sure, but this was the lowest calorie 
aka Lois Point, so I picked that up. Some mild chunky salsa. This is for a dinner recipe, and then of course, just for really anything that you eat salsa on. A big pack of cheese slices, just because this was $8 at Costco, and you pay $2 per little pack of cheese slices at the grocery store, and this one has Swiss, Colby Jack, Cheddar, and Monterey Jack. So I thought that this would last quite a while. Target also had buy $50 worth of household laundry, cleaning supplies, that type of thing, and you got $15 off. So we were almost out of our scent beads, so I went ahead and stocked up. I bought the big pack of the Gain Fireworks, the Downy Cool Cotton, and the Downy Infusions Bliss. This one smells amazing. And then to reach that $50 threshold, I bought some washing machine cleaner. I do like to run this through my front load washer once a month or so, just to really clean it out and get rid of any of that weird mildewy smell. I was completely out of rolled oats and I have been craving oatmeal so I picked up the Good and Gather organic rolled oats. They also had some candles on clearance and I can never pass up a good deal on a candle and this one smells really good. This is the green mango and pomelo. It was on sale for $7 and these huge three wick candles are only $10 at Target. Now you know I am a Bath and Body Works candle lover but if it's a good deal I definitely don't pass it up. And this gorgeous candle the Oasis Palm. This one smells all things summer was on clearance for $4 and 50 cents. A restock of our sleep gummies only because these were on coupon for $10.99, which is $5 off the normal price. And then two boxes of our heartburn medicine or the acid reducer. We take this every day, myself and Troy. And then when I was at Target, I picked up Palmer's favorite. We call them his chicken bones that he gets in the morning, but these are the puppy natural nubs. And we break these little bones into four little pieces. So we actually get like 70 days or 70 pieces out of it. And he loves these. So I picked those up at Target. No surprise that I grabbed two containers of my favorite cottage cheese, the Good Culture. The Unreal Chocolate Coconut Patties that taste just like a mound, but maybe even a little better were on coupon at Costco, so I went ahead and picked those up for a sweet treat. They're 70 calories a piece, which is not bad at all. We needed some reduced fat Mexican style shredded cheese for a dinner recipe, and since I didn't go to Trader Joe's, I just picked it up at Target. And for Troy's burritos for the week, I grabbed him the cheddar Jack fine cut shredded cheese. For bagels, I went with cinnamon raisin. I don't know, it just sounded really delicious. And that's what I bought that plain whipped cream cheese for. This is one of Troy's favorite, favorite beers. And they very rarely have this at Costco. It was a really good deal. The four pack was only $6.50, I believe. So I surprised him with the Irish death. Some quinoa. This is for my lunch meal prep. I have some red quinoa in my pantry, but I don't think I have enough for my entire recipe. So this was on sale at Target. I was completely out of flour. I mean, I mean, there's maybe a tablespoon left in my jar. So I grabbed the Good & Gather organic all-purpose flour. I picked up quite a bit of meat at Target. Originally, I was going to grab it at Costco, but they had a lot of their meat marked down. So these are the no antibiotic chicken breasts. Normal price is $9. They were $3.00 off so it was six dollars for the entire pack of chicken they also have their chicken tenders three dollars off which made these packs three dollars and 49 cents which is a great deal so i picked up two of those and for troy's tacos i just grabbed some 80 20 ground beef he doesn't care and these were a dollar off a package so it was about five dollars per pound and I went ahead and picked him up two pounds. There was a coupon on the Target Circle app for favorite day products, and I saw these maple cookie thins, and they spoke right to my heart. They're giving me fall vibes, and I love maple anything, so I went ahead and picked those up. Also, as part of the $20 in beauty, I picked up a two-pack of Dove deodorant for Troy and some Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover for myself. Buried under my 10,000 pounds of groceries are some 8-inch flour tortillas, just the Target brand. These are for Troy's tacos for his lunch. A huge pack of Costco asparagus. I actually needed this for two separate dinner recipes so I just went ahead and grabbed the big pack at Costco. A big pack of cheese slices for Troy's meat cheese and crackers. I will tell you that this particular brand, this Cello brand, this is the best cheese I've ever had in one of these cracker cut packages. So, so good. And it was $12 at Costco, which is a really good deal. And it is seriously so good. I couldn't pass up these kind of tie-dyed navy blue workout pants. Costco has workout pants from Danskin on sale for $9.99. 
I couldn't pass it up. I almost bought a couple pairs, but I told myself, listen, Jen, you probably only need one pair, if not zero pairs. So I couldn't pass up the blue tie dye. A big bag of the beef jerky dog treats. These are on sale for $5.99. This is a three and a half, almost four pound bag of treats for the dog. My dogs will definitely go through these and you can't beat that deal. Buried down here is a big 35 pack of Diet Coke for Troy. One baby apple. This is for my lunch meal prep. A huge bag of lemons. This is for my waters. And then I also needed lemons for a recipe this next week. Some tricolor bell peppers. I really only needed one bell pepper, but Target only sells them in a three pack. So I think I'm going to mix up some chicken salad or tuna salad and stuff one of the extra bell peppers with that so that I can use them up. Some organic raspberries from Costco. They were a really good deal, $5.99. And this is just for snacking for the week. And a big pack of strawberries. I need this for my meal prep dessert and then just strawberries to snack on. Some frozen peas for a dinner recipe. String cheese for Troy's lunches. He takes two string cheese every single day. It's $9.99 for this huge pack, three pounds, 12 ounces of the Frigo cheese sticks. You cannot beat it. I went ahead and picked up another box of my makeup remover wipes only because they were on sale. I just bought a box on my last monthly Costco stock up, but they were $8.99 and they don't go bad. So I picked those up. Troy's favorite salad. He begged me to pick this up and they actually had it. I think this is seasonal at Costco. I don't like it. I don't know the points of nutrition information. I don't eat it, but he loves this salad. A bag of Fritos scoops for Troy's French onion dip that he's still working on. And last but not least, so this massive haul, the Creators cheese and caramel popcorn. This is our very, very favorite. So I always pick up a bag at Costco. So that's it, my friends. That is everything for this massive, massive grocery haul. So let's go ahead and jump into my dinners for the week, as well as what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my meal plan for the week. We are the week of August 7th through August 13th. I seriously can't believe at the end of this week, we'll be halfway through the month of August blows my mind. Uh, today, Saturday, we are going out for dinner or having frozen pizza or supporting a local business. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making grilled chicken and asparagus pesto pasta. You guys will see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday in my crock pot, I'm throwing in a pot roast and doing a Mississippi pot roast. Tuesday is always a leftover night. Wednesday is lemon asparagus risotto. I don't know, we'll pair this with some type of protein. And then Thursday, I'm doing a taco casserole. This is actually a low carb recipe. And then Friday is leftover so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. I'm pretty darn excited about this, so stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. For breakfast this next week, I'm putting together some breakfast tacos. This sounds so good. Lunch is going to be a cranberry apple quinoa salad. I've been craving quinoa. I picked up that really pretty red quinoa in my grocery haul, so I'm excited for that. And then for dessert this week, I'm making strawberry Greek yogurt cheesecake bars. As you guys know, my husband loves cheesecake, so he is pretty excited about this. So you'll be seeing all three of these recipes on Monday in my meal prep. Thank you for joining me on this week's grocery haul. Well, I guess this month's Costco haul and this week's Target haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you don't miss a single video. It's grocery haul day every single Saturday. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best weekend ever, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!